Greetings. Well, I haven't been doing any lava or garden reports for a while, mostly because the uh, volcano hasn't really been doing anything different. Uh, it's just been continuing to go on and on. But recently, they are now announcing that it's. it looks like the flow out of Fissure Number 8 is slowing down, and the Lay's Plume at the entry to the ocean is also decreasing in size. I've noticed it here from the house, the nighttime show in the sky is much reduced over what it was. So the amount of lava flowing out of the fissure has decreased. Um, this is maybe good news. Uh, also, another sign is that Pu'u'o'o, uh, -oh, which is the fish, the volcano or the Pu'u, that had been flowing pretty much non-stop since 1983 and had stopped this May when fissure number 8 opened here. Um, it's now suddenly producing uh, five times the amount of sulfur dioxide that it was producing. Uh, it had decreased to almost nothing and now it's jumped way up. So that means there's some lava down there somewhere and it's real possible that Pua -oh may decide to take over for fissure number eight. If that happens, I think we're all going to be pleased about it because um, Pua -oh has been producing lava with no big issues uh, for a long time now. and uh, It's been running lava ever since I first came here to Hawaii. It's the first time it ever stopped. So it, it might be going back there. Um, hopefully. It is. Anyway, they were also looking and hoping for stability for the National Park at Hele Ma'u Ma'u, but so far that isn't really happening. Um, there is a tiny chance uh, there could be some sort of pyroclastic event up there at the park. Uh, they give it a 1%, which of course has terrified people. Uh, some people, <laughs> I don't get too concerned about 1%. Um, I figure I got a 100% chance of dropping dead without getting out of here, so what's a 1%? Um, but up towards the park, the major concern these days is the road. Uh, highway 11, which is a major highway crossing this island, we all need that road. It's been cracking and cracking and cracking and getting potholes in it from the uh, uh, earthquakes. The earthquakes are shaking the heck out of it. And so they're having to run around there and repair that road non-stop uh, to keep it open. Uh, we're right now looking, I believe, at a 25 mile an hour speed limit going past the park because the road is so fractured and become hazardous. Um, as far as the volcano is concerned, I can't think of too much of anything else. Uh, we have... Uh, Hurricane Hector heading this way. Uh, the heck with Hector. Um, generally speaking, uh, hurricanes don't make landfall here on the Big Island. Now we have had some near misses and a few brushes over the years that uh, have created some issues. The last one came in at uh, South Point as a tropical storm. Um, and so it, it broke up a few things down there. Lower Puna got whomped pretty good uh, some years back. I believe it was Hurricane Isel that came by the island. Never made landfall, but came by. And what it did was it broke every Albizia tree that was down there in Lower Puna and just dropped them on the power lines, on the telephone lines, on the guardrails, across the roads. It started a whole campaign of people here on the big island. Uh, trying to get rid of all the Albizia trees. Uh, they have done a pretty good job on it, but there's still plenty of them. So if we get another hurricane brush, chances are we're going to end up with more Albizia trees falling all over the place. It's a weed species that got here years ago, and it just spreads. It's also very fragile. The tree doesn't hold together with any wind, and it starts to break up. Anyway, so let's see what's new out in the garden. Yeah, well, we're coming to the end of this corn crop. It's very ripe. Well, I finally got in here along the fence line and mowed yesterday. 
Then I came by with the weed flamer and did the bottom of the fence line so the fence doesn't get overgrown here. These flamers are a really, really great alternative uh, to things like using herbicides. Uh, they work great and for applications like under that fence line. That's a superb way to go. Now obviously any of you living in really, really dry places like California or parts of western Hawaii don't want to be using a tool like this. But here in Puna, everything's green. Basically when you put down a flame, everything steams. My mowing was to uh, bring out my cacao that was in this row. It was getting lost underneath here. And, uh, you can see some of it right over there. So, the most exciting thing in the garden today is that the giant lily koi is producing fruit finally again. And you see one hiding right in there. Right there is another one hanging in the bush. Be pretty soon we're going to have seed available once more. Things in the nursery are doing really well. We have some beautiful cherry tomato plants here if anybody's interested. Nice parsley, beautiful Italian parsley. Outstanding dwarf Katara coffee. Beautiful sweet potato plants in three different colors. Nice basil. And Roselle too, fruiting hibiscus. The mint is looking really superior. So that's about the size of it for today. Business is slow in the nursery. Come on down. <laughs> we got stuff. Uh, make you a good deal. So, aloha, happy gardening. We'll catch you next time.